Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading for May 24th to basically the end of May, May 30th, 31st. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. You can also follow me on Instagram. I do post different readings over there as well, um, different from the ones that I post here, so different pick of cards, that sort of fun stuff. So um, if you're interested in that, the link for my Instagram is down below, okay? So we have winter's dream gestation period. All right, and then we have feast of plenty, choices and their consequences. All right. I feel like a lot of you are, um, like I'm getting like hibernation energy a little bit Aquarius, but also, um, the gestation period is making me think it's like you're st you're creating something, right? It's kind of like, um, like if you were birthing a baby, it's like you're in that gestation period of, you know, it's not quite ready yet or it's not quite born yet. You're in the winter phase. Things haven't blossomed and bloomed yet. Um, some of you could be trying to figure out like, okay, if I do this, what will I get out of it? Like what are going to be my consequences, good or bad, right? Um, I feel like though you could have a lot to choose from as well. So that could be it too. It's like you're kind of in this like period of not really taking action towards anything with the gestation period, but you have a lot of options. So whether that's options in love or it could be financial opportunities, maybe you're just like looking at, you know, jobs or whatever. It's like, but you're not really taking action necessarily on those things. All right. So we have the nine of pentacles. We have the tower and we have the nine of cups. We have the chariot. We have the Eight of Wands and we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Moon. We have the Nine of Wands. And we have the Hierophant. Okay, so we have Scorpio. We have Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So lots of water. And we have Taurus. Bottom of the deck, we have Three of Pentacles. So it's like, again, it's like, what do you want to build? Um, working together with people, collaborating. Um, you might not have it fully figured out either because I'm really drawn to the fact that her pentacles are falling out of her hat because that side is open. So it's like you might not have everything like put together or it's like you might have to give up something as a consequence to moving in a new direction, something like that. I feel like in your personal life, I feel like things are moving forward regardless because I feel like in the recent past we have the nine of pentacles the tower nine of cups like this indicates to me that there's definitely a big change that's happened in your personal life either financially or emotionally um, I feel like for a lot of you though we're going to clarify the tower but I, I don't feel like it's necessarily I feel like it actually has built you up personally or, in, or individually it's not like it's necessarily fallen apart now it could be we'll clarify like I said um, some of you may feel like you're rebuilding in the current energy we have the chariot we have the eight of wands and we have the knight of cups there could be a water sign on their way to you um, there could be someone you're communicating with even um, but for others of you this could even just be again like you moving forward and like um, some of you it's trying to find this like 10, 10 of cups, right? You're at the nine of cups. You're trying to find this 10 of cups. Um, like, you know, kind of complete happiness within your surroundings and what's in your life. I feel like you're happy on a personal level. It's just now it's like going out. Some of you though are kind of like looking back at the past as you move forward, or it's like you're moving forward so quickly you don't even see it. Because that could be it too. Because the Chariot and the Eight of Wands are both very fast moving uh, energies. And then we have the Moon, the Nine of Wands, and the Hierophant. There's something I feel... Like how you feel about a situation or... 
learning something. There's an element of like, like it's been a long journey, nine of wands and the hierophant, I get like a really old man or like an old vibe here from the hierophant. So it's like nine of wands. It's like the nine of wands, especially is all about like, um, you're like, oh my gosh, we're almost there. Like I put in so much work, so much time, so much energy into this. I've really been fighting to complete this, to get to the end, right? It's, it's wands energy. So it's like almost like burnout a little bit. Um, so I feel like you've been working on something for a really long time. We have three nines here, which indicates to me, this is a lot about like you and your personal life. And I feel like you could maybe be in this gestation period and it's like you're about to burst through the door a little bit. So let's see. What is this tower energy here for Aquarius in the recent past? What happened with this tower? What is this tower here for Aquarius? We have the King of Wands and the Justice. So some of you, this could be even just taking action, um, making a really big change again in your personal life. But I feel like, again, I feel like it worked out for, me, for you. I don't feel like it disrupted your stability. I actually feel like it increased it. Give me one more on the tower here. Yeah, nine of wands, it's like, you're trying to actively get somewhere. We have the empress here, which nine of pentacles is pre-empress. So some of you have goals, you have achievements, but it's like, it may feel like, oh my gosh, it's taking forever, right? Gestation period. It's like, you haven't really reaped the rewards yet of it, but I feel like you're well on your way. Yeah, knight of swords. Um, again, you're on your way quicker than you think. What is, uh, what's the chariot here for? What is this chariot here for in the current energy for Aquarius? What is the chariot here for? We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Star and Temperance. Wow. Four major arcanas. Yeah, I feel like things are going to be moving forward in a really good way. You could also be like... Some of you, you could be like stepping into the spotlight somehow, or you're going to stand out to people. Again, it's like, I feel like you're headed very quickly towards, you know, your dreams. You're going to have a lot in the future. I'm getting like a lot of abundance from this card. Um, you just maybe have to be a patient or you've been really patient. Again, there's an element of like you personally being really balanced. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, the Lovers. This is like give and take. I feel like you guys have been really, um, really, again, just really balanced. There's like a very calm energy here. What's this Knight of Cups here for Aquarius? Clarify this Knight of Cups here for Aquarius. Six of Cups, Page of Cups, and we have the Nine of Cups. I feel like there could be somebody on, on their way towards you. You might not see this person because I feel like you're focused. It's almost like this. you're moving in one direction and this person's like, wait for me. <laughs> um, clarify this Page of Cups. We have, the, or the, we have the Eight of Pentacles reverse. We have the world. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot. Yeah, like I feel like a lot of you have almost like outgrown this person. There might be a situation or a, a something from the past that you're not putting any energy into or any effort into. Uh, that cycle may have closed. And it's like when you left that situation, you started investing more energy and time into yourself rather than this connection which has really helped you move forward. And that could have been a consequence of a choice that you made, right? Like it's like, I can't stay in this connection. I need to stop putting my energy in this place. And it doesn't have to be a person. It could even just be something that I feel like you felt emotionally connected to regardless. So there's a lot of water cards here. Um, there definitely could be a water sign in your life, but I feel like a lot of you could be moving on from that and really putting the time and energy in yourself. And it's really gonna pay off. So this could have been the choice that you that you made 
to move on from something for sure, but I feel like this person's really trying to keep up with you. It's almost like they're trying to, they're like, wait, hold on, <laughs> wait for me. What is the, the moon here for in the near future for Aquarius? What is the moon here for? We have the Queen of Wands. So we now have the King and the Queen of Wands. There could be something with like fears or insecurities. Somebody could be watching you that you don't know about, like hiding their emotions. Give me one more with the moon here. Yeah, two of cups. There's definitely somebody who's like has feelings for you and I feel like they haven't expressed it. They've been just kind of like watching you. What's the nine of wands here? It definitely could be this uh, king of wands, like this other person. I feel like there's another person here that you've maybe left behind to focus on yourself. Yeah, we have judgment. So there definitely could have been a judgment call, right? Again, a choice with a consequence. I feel like a lot of you is to move forward though in your life. We have the Queen of Swords, Hermit, the Devil, and the Ten of Wands. You started to realize what you needed to put down, the burdens that you were carrying with you. Again, cl closing out this cycle, you realize what you really wanted. I feel like, again, you made a personal choice, mainly because you started seeing things from a different perspective. What's the Hierophant here for? Knight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands. A lot of you are moving in a new direction. There's like a new mindset that I feel you have around something. We have the Magician. A lot of you are trying to manifest something. Um, it's a big change that I feel. Again, you guys are really doing, you're doing really well on your own. I don't really feel like, and a lot of you are wanting to move in a new direction. There may, again, be someone wanting to communicate with you, but I feel like you guys have already made that judgment call. What is the advice for Aquarius this week? What is the advice for Aquarius? We have the King of Pentacles. So we now have the King and Queen of Pentacles. We have the Page of Swords. And we have the Magician. They're definitely, I feel like somebody definitely wants to talk. I feel like they're trying to manifest this. That's too many cards. Um, clarify this Magician here in the advice. Two of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Four of Cups. It's almost like you need to decide if whether you're going to really leave this behind. Five of Pentacles. Um, or if you're going to stick around. This could be this person too. What, clarify this King of Pentacles here. Some of you could still be kind of like having your eye on this person. We have the two of wands. There's a choice with this person that you have to make. What's this page of swords? Justice and the sun. So like doing what's right. Um, I think it's like if you want to move forward to what you're trying to create, you may have to make a decision of like, what, what are you willing to give up? What are you willing to give up in order to move towards what it is that you want? There is a choice. We've got the, we have justice. We have two of wands, two of cups, two of pentacles. It's like, what do you want? If you want something, if you're trying to manifest something, there's something you maybe need to leave behind or something that you may have to, something that you still kind of have your eye on. What's this page of swords? Any advice? Oh boy. Page of cups. Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Devil. A lot of you walked away from this, but you still feel bound to it and somehow, like you still feel connected, especially if this person comes in and offers you something, Page of Cups. I feel like you have a choice. Are you going to walk away or are you gonna go come back? Are you gonna return? Um, 
so especially I feel like a lot of you were on the path forward yeah you have to make a decision here queen of swords um you walked away from something I feel like things are starting to move in your favor but this person does maybe come back and it's like you have to make the choice are you going to choose yourself or are you going to choose this connection are you going to move forward because there's something specific I feel you're trying to move forward towards but it's almost like you feel like this other relationship is like holding you back somehow or that you can't do both You have to figure out what you what you feel you can accomplish or what you know it's like if you're trying to manifest something there might be something you need to leave behind and it might be this person something that you feel emotionally tied to for sure you 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 did try to walk away from it i feel like you did walk away from it you reached happiness on yourself by yourself this person's coming back and you have to figure out does this fit or does it not with what i'm trying to achieve is the right time because I feel like there's changes happening in your personal life. There's a lot of like you figuring out what you want. There's a lot of nines here. A lot of independent energy, it's like single energy. So it's what do you want? What fits best in your life? You know, do you want to collaborate or work with this person? Three of Pentacles. Whether it's romantic or work related. You have to figure that out. So... That is what I have for you, Aquarius. Interesting message. Hopefully it resonates for you guys. Uh, if not, you can check out your other signs. Um, and as well, you can look on my Instagram as well for some other readings, okay? So um, hopefully that resonated. If not, like I said, check out the other ones. Um, but take what resonates. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.